today I am sharing five essential spring cleaning tasks for your home. I'm starting off with the sink and drains. So if you put down your sink, some white vinegar and bicarbonate of soda and you will like these will take away the smells of the sink and the dirt and the grime if you leave that in there for a good 10 minutes and then if you pour down some hot water and do this really you need to do this about once a week um, I try to do this weekly but this is a great spring cleaning task for you Next on my list to spring clean is my kettle. I absolutely love a cup of tea, but what I don't love is the lime scale within my kettle. As you can see here, it really has built up. So I have got some pouches. I've actually got the brown else, but there's lots of brands out that you can use. And just follow the packet instructions. So you're gonna to wanna to part boil half, boil half a kettle, um, of water and then empty your sachet into it and you're going to want to leave that for eight minutes as you can see now it is so much cleaner the lime scale is just completely dissolved so i am just now emptying this kettle and then what i'll do is i'll give this a thorough clean out so all that lime scale has now gone and it is looking so much better and this will mean that my cup of tea later is going to taste amazing. Next I am moving on to my washing machine and giving this a deep clean. Obviously our washing machines do wash our clothes but we never really think about cleaning our washing machines so we do have to do this as well as a good really good spring clean as you can see my drawer here i'm a bit embarrassed to show you how dirty this is um really filthy and this completely clicks out so you can take that out completely and what i do with that is i'll let that soak in some warm soapy water in the sink so i'll just run that and leave that to soak So whilst that is soaking, I'm just gonna be cleaning out the drawer. This actually wasn't too bad, but I just got my flash spray wipe done, and then I'm just gonna be giving that a good wipe and clean as well. <laughs> So don't forget to clean obviously the front of your washing machine as well as you can see inside now that is looking much nicer and um, one place that obviously does build up is inside the rubber bit of your washing machine so again if you soak um, a cloth with some white vinegar and just leave that to soak so put that on the inside of the rubber as you can see like I've done here and just leave that to soak and that is really going to help um, dissolve and get away the dirt and grime. I've now left the um, drawer to soak so I've gone back to that and I'm giving this a really good scrub. Obviously we've got some line scale build up as well on that so I'm really giving it a good scrub and just getting it off as much as I can. Obviously, don't forget to wipe out your drum as well and also the door. Um, now, I've le been leaving the, um, the white vinegar to soak, so I'm now going to be taking that out and giving that a good wipe and clean, putting the drawer back also now that this is nice and clean. And putting some white vinegar and bicarbonate of sodas in the drum itself and then I'm going to be putting on a very hot cycle so I'm also going to be putting some disinfectant in the drawer 
uh, just to give that an extra clean and if you've got some old dirty cloths that you want to clean throw it in with this cycle um, and then put that on a hot wash Next, I am moving on to cleaning my windows. Um, this is a task definitely for spring. You're gonna have lighter mornings and evenings, and yeah, and then you're gonna notice all the marks on those windows. And I like to do it this way, so I spray some window and glass um, cleaner. I give that a good clean and scrub, and then I use my window vac and to um, give that a nice clean and tidy so that is the way that I do it and it leaves no streaks no marks and they're looking really great neglect in my house as well is actually the front of the cupboards so these were definitely overdue a spring clean and the tops of the cupboards too which I'll be moving on to as well so I'm just going to be spraying the cupboards and then giving these a really good clean we've got two young children so we've got lots of sticky finger marks and handprints and things so these were overdue a really good wipe and clean down I'm going to give you a really good tip that I do for the tops of my cupboards is that I actually lay newspaper on top therefore you can just roll up this newspaper and it honestly saves so much time in cleaning the tops they then only really needed a very light clean because there was barely any dust because it obviously laid on top of the newspapers and then once I have wiped them down I relay some new newspapers I really love this hat it saves so much time thank you so much for watching i really hoped you enjoyed these spring cleaning ideas let me know in the comments below what you're going to be spring cleaning and don't forget to like and comment on this video because i really would love it if you stuck around and subscribed just hit that subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye guys